Okay, today we're going to set up a 13 panel uh, corral system. These 13 panels are on the folder rack on the side of my trailer here as we see it. This will actually set up two very good sized corrals. Or you can set it up in a big circle or like a round pin. It'll make about a 30 foot diameter round pin if you just set it up round. Okay. I set it up in two pins just to make sure that both horses are eating and drinking as they're supposed to. And not one horse hogging the food, one horse drinking, keeping the other one away from the water. So that's my recommendation. So let's go ahead and start setting these up. Usually I just take two panels. They weigh about 20 pounds a piece. So I start about where I think I want the... Uh, the corral set up. Okay, I've got the first two panels set up. Now I can just go like crazy. So I come back to the trailer. And this is a real simple method of attaching these panels together. There are just two parts of the system, the panel and the pin. Okay, we now have the first corral set up. In this case it happens to consist of seven panels. As I said, this is a pretty large um, corral system we're setting up here today. So now we're going to attach the next pan corral to the first one. So we're going to have one panel that's the dividing wall between the corrals. So what we do to do to accomplish this is in a, in a very secure manner is we take these little red connectors and we insert them right at the joint where these um, panels are going to, to join. So you'll notice that the, there's a space in, in here that allows that connector to sit in there. And in this kit, I send you the extra pins required to make up this connection. So now we have the loop here on the connector, through the next loop down, and through the panel. Now it's connected and you can build the rest of the corral. We've got everything else set up. We're getting ready to make the connection between the common wall and the, um, and the other corral. So we insert the red connector right there in, in the space between the, the panels and start pushing the pin down insert the bottom connector and now we're good. The connectors are in place ready to accept the rod. You just feed the rod down through the uh, loops in the end of the panel through the connectors and you're done. Now you've got a good solid connection between the two pins between all the corral panels. I store the pins on the trailer that way they're already they're already where you want them when you go to set up the corral panels. They're there, they're not lost, they're not left behind, and they're not in a separate compartment in the trailer. And um, the two extra, extra pins are in the back. These are the ones to create the three panel connection at the common wall. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, folder rack kit. Uh, I get a few questions on that. This particular folder rack uh, holds 13 panels, it holds the whole set. You can put as few as you want or as many as 13 of mine on there. They will hold other panels as well. The thing about this folder rack is the way that it folds down when it's not carrying the panels. So if you take your panels off in the winter time or when you're in camp and you don't want this sticking out, biting your head, biting your hat, or getting a horse tangled up in it, 
you can fold it down and repin it. I repin it because if you don't, it will flop around in the wind as you're going down the road. Um, the way this is made, it you can see that the channel that is the main frame of the folder rack is one inch and it will hold the panels off of the trailer. That's why the panels don't slap the side of the trailer as you're as you're transporting them or even as you're loading them. Pick them up, set them on, and now you can see you're you're ready to um, to load them all. All right, here we are. We're just about ready to pack up and go. We're just going to load the last two panels on the hanger, and we're set. We're just going to bungee them on. Now. Okay, we're ready to bungee the panels to the folder rack. The folder rack is designed to be used with four bungees, two that are vertical and two horizontal. The rack has holes drilled in it so that you can um, put the hooks through the holes and um, on each end and also for the horizontal bungees as well. Okay, now I'm going to put on the horizontal bungees to hold the uh, panels to the trailer. And that's, that's it. It's pretty darn simple.